是打中央的三级。If communism were a religion, this would be its holiest place, Yan'an, where the heroes of the revolution ended the long march. Mao Zedong led his People's Army here through nearly 10,000 kilometers of enemy territory. And it's from here that they launched the counter-attack to liberate China. <laughs> Every month, thousands of tourists come for some revolutionary nostalgia. I've come here to meet the Long March's last surviving woman. Wu Jiazhen is 88 years old. She stayed on with Mao's revolutionaries and still lives in a one-room cave house with a lifetime of memories. You But these days, Marxist revolution has been consigned to museums and souvenir shops. China's new heroes are the very figures Chairman Mao used to fight. Zhang Yue is one of the country's most successful capitalists, ranked by Forbes magazine as China's 27th richest man. He doesn't need to march anywhere. He has his own private jet and a state-of-the-art helicopter. It gives him a godlike view of his private domain. The huge air conditioning factory that made his fortune the giant pyramid he's built next to his luxury villas. Even his very own French chateau. Down here, he's creating the new worker's paradise. If the 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 Capitalists were once class enemy number one, but these entrepreneurs are the party's own creation. Zhang Yue was a teacher when the government encouraged workers to start their own businesses. Over the past 10 years, he's built up a manufacturing empire exporting to 16 countries, with a turnover of 200 million US dollars a year. And there's no doubting who's the boss. Now the communists want men like him to join the party. So, China's communists have embraced capitalism with open arms. Party leader and president Jiang Zemin has been cloaking himself in the mantle of revolution. State media have hailed him as the people's comrade. 
On giant billboards, he stands beside the revolution's titans, Mao Zedong and Deng Xiaoping. But some believe this emperor has no clothes. We really thought that Mao Zedong is God. But now, no one thinks Jiang Zemin is God. Only he himself tried to make himself as a new God in this country. So, wow, he's very stupid. Dai Qing is one of China's few intellectuals still game to criticize the party. We met her in this tea house because her home is under police surveillance. She's been targeted since 1989, when she was jailed for 10 months for supporting democracy protests in Tiananmen Square. There is no Communist Party at all. Yeah, right now, we only have a corrupted party. Uh, it holds the army and the propaganda. No one wants to say something for the workers, for the poor, peasants. No one wants to on behalf of them. Dai Qing grew up in a revolutionary family. Her father was one of the first intellectuals to join the party. When he died, she was adopted by Marshal Ye Jianying, a revered party hero from the Long March. She believes they would be shocked by what the party has become. China realized in the late 70s that Mao's socialist central planning was no longer sustainable. But the way reform was implemented has created a deeply troubled society. The gap between rich and poor is widening, corruption is rife, popular discontent is growing. The faithful like Wu Jiazhen can't understand what's happened. Little wonder the party is so keen to play on its glorious, romanticised history. The generation that brought it to power has all but died out. But the party insists the new generation supports it too. This is the San Litun Bar district in Beijing, the center of the capital's nightlife. It's one long street party and it has its very own party branch. The authorities set the branch up in March as part of a campaign to revamp the party's image. They chose the son of a party member, 25-year-old bar manager Xu Zhen, as the first communist secretary. No, I just think it's a way to get out. 如果没有共产党的话,就没有我们这个新的这个中国。It's not clear how widely China's clubbers would share his views. What's certain is that no club is more prestigious or exclusive than the party he's joined. It gives ambitious young Chinese an entree into an organization that dominates every aspect of society. But Xu Zhen says it's not about personal advantage. But a former party insider, Wu Go Guan, says even the members themselves don't believe the propaganda. Wu joined the party in the 1980s and became editor of the communist journal The People's Daily. He was expelled for supporting the Tiananmen Square protests and now teaches in Hong Kong, where he admits he was never a communist. I'm not 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 a communist. I'm not
断言说中国共产党六千万党员至少有百分之七八十是不会相信共产主义，也不认为这个共产党是一个啊、呃、好的一个选择。但是你知道，在中国这样一个共产党垄断政治权力的情况下，那么如果你要想改变这个社会，要改变这套政治制度，那么你不到共产党里去取得一定的权利，那是很难的。These days, young cadres come here to the Beijing Party School. It's a college for communists, training up-and-coming leaders in the mantra of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Yao Huan is dean of history at the Beijing Party School and a leading communist ideologue. He insists the party is still committed to achieving communism, just maybe not this century. 那这个问题呢，确实是到了这个世纪的中叶，就是二零五零年，我们可以说基本实现现代化。那么这一段我们就是，呃，搞社会主义现代化。到了二零五零年以后，可以说我们仍然是建设有中国特色的社会主义，还是搞社会主义，啊，所以先是说这个究竟什么呃时间？能够能够实现，那只有未来的人们啊来回答这个问题。In the meantime, the party is moving ever closer to business. The state guest house in Beijing used to be the preserve of government leaders and visiting heads of state. This weekend, it's been thrown open to the air conditioning magnet Chang Yue for a company forum. Before an audience of company managers, businessmen, and politicians, from Beijing's vice mayor to the head of the foreign trade ministry, Zhang holds forth on his rise from rags to riches. Then, in the grounds of the state guest house, a banquet fit for an emperor's court, followed by a concert from his very own dance troupe. Men like Zhang are China's new merchant princes, as important to the communist leaders as the leaders are to them. Can provide him in this economy and its legal validity. So, as long as the economy is good, people are satisfied with the government's demand and can maintain a certain level. Then the communist party can continue. Let's take a look at the economy. Hard work for the company is seen as patriotic duty. Back at Zhang's factory, the workers turn out each morning to raise the national flag. White-collar workers to one side, blue collars to the other. It's the start of a long working week. The staff have to live on site, only seeing their families on days off. The blue collars head off to the factory, white collars to their offices, while Zhang Yue plans his next global expansion. We will do this. We have already started doing this, but after three years, this will be the case. Every place will have it. After three years, every country on the ground, every color of the sky, will have our flag. But for all the party's overtures, Zhang Yue has no intention of becoming a member. Oh,
Explaining how men like that are really socialists, not capitalists, has forced the party into ideological contortions that would strain the supplest acrobatic troop. <laughs> 那么这个社会阶层呢，应当说这些人跟那个呃旧中国这个资本家他是不一样的，他很多人呃实际上过去也是我们机关的干部啊，这个有的是工人，他们和旧社会这个资本家是不一样的，呃这些人呢呃从政